might work so we can see on this one meter resolution imagery here in this field this is a quarter section you can kind of see which set, which way the field was seeded you can see the lines in the field the little dark areas here are sloughs and there's a dugout here um, you can see the line along the top corner of the field here that's where there's a road where the neighbor drives back to get into his field over here and we can just see the darker green areas represent a higher NDVI value or vegetative area. So also here we can see, uh, identify, there's these little brown spots in the end. Our, our seating equipment automatically shuts on and off and we didn't have the, the timing quite set right. So the seed was not coming out quite soon enough. And so we had some skips there. So there's a lot of different things going on and with a high resolution image, we can identify that. And you can identify errors with your applicator or different things that are going on that if you had a if we had the 30 meter resolution on there we wouldn't be able to see those things and that could affect how our maps may come out if we were looking to zone for fertility or different things like that so bottom line is resolution is very important and you get what, what you pay for um, in this particular field we also have five meter imagery here and I don't I don't have it here with us but this road you can't identify it there it just gets blurred in so there's different things like that that uh, that you lose when you go to a, a lower resolution imagery so in this particular field last year we've got a lot of examples where we've done that this year um, but this is an example that we went through the analysis of last year well what we do is we order a plane to fly the field uh, ideally probably about 10 days or so before 10 to 10 days to two weeks before we would make an application in the field so we want to for canola we want to target the field when it's just starting to bolt and uh, and and then we can decide whether we're going to make an application so this this particular scenario we took an image on a Thursday and it was getting very close to we probably took the image a little bit later than I ideally would have liked to have but um, this was a program that we put together kind of very quickly last year to try out and uh, we had the imagery back in our hands on Monday morning uh, and we were making a variable rate prescription applying in the field about 11 or 12 o'clock that day so um, the turnaround time can be very really quick if need be so anyways what we've been doing this year with the guys that we have planned to do this we've we've kind of lined up the fields that we're going to do we ordered the, the planes quite a, quite a long time ahead of time because they need time to plan and logistics. So ideally the farther ahead you have the better. And uh, and then we just kind of let them know when, as a, as a crop progressed, depending on what was going on, we let them know when the, when we thought the field would be ready to capture at that, that time and that what we that's what we did. So then what we do is we go out to the field, we do a little bit of ground truthing, we make sure, okay, this is, poor areas or areas where there is no crop or the crop is very light and uh, areas where the crop is medium and maybe heavier so the green spots don't necessarily mean there's a better crop there it could be a wild oat patch or thistles or something else going on so we need to go out to the field and just make sure we know what's going on so in this particular case the blue areas that you see on this map are areas that uh, that we applied a full rate of fungicide the green would have been areas where we applied the lower label rate of fungicide and the red areas are where we just shut the booms right off because there was very little uh, there was very little crop there the crop was poor and it didn't warrant a fungicide application so in this scenario this is a 160 acre field uh, zone 3 the blue zone represented about 22 acre 20 23.9 acres that needed the full application uh, we had 89.6 acres that had the lower rate and and about 50 acres that we didn't apply anything at all. So when we work back the analysis on that, it cost us about $3.50 to get the imagery and it was about $1.50 to, to do some the ground truth and you make the prescription, put it in a sprayer. At the end of the day, we had a, a net savings of about $3.80 an acre. So. Um, 